In Dying Light 2, there's a blueprint called the Dying Force. This blueprint allows you to force choke your enemies like how Darth Vader does. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step on how to get this blueprint. Now, you'll first need to find five rubber duckies. The first one is an old villador in Houndfield. It's in the chemical waste area, and if you follow the screen, you'll find it exactly right here. The second one you'll find in the wharf area by the PK ship. It's in this GRE anomaly location, and if you hop on this fence, you'll see a sunken car. Jump into the water and head to the car. You'll be able to lockpick it. Now for me, it was glitched. I had to put my head through the door and collect it. The third one you can find at the lower dam air. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. And you'll find it barely hugging the renegade territory. The fourth one you can find at the observatory. It's in the second tower. So you'll have to climb up and then run across these barbed wire to get it or use a paraglider in order to reach it. And the last one you'll find at the VNC tower. Go up to the roof and then jump down to this little room. You'll find a safe and the code is 666. You'll need to have completed the broadcast mission in order to do this. So make sure you complete the mission where you climb the VNC tower. Now that you're at the VNC tower, you want to go down to the basement. If you've completed the mission, you'll know this place. You're then going to swim over to the door that was initially closed when you first got through the tower. But now it'll be open. And when you go through, you'll find another elevator that'll take you down to a room. The room is very unique and it has five tables. With these five tables, you're going to set down the rubber duckies. After you've placed all the rubber duckies, you're going to use the cables and make a pentagram. Now, I recommend you just follow what I do on screen rather than try to make one because you need to do it in a specific way for this to work. Now after you've made the pentagram, a pistol will rise from the fire right here. This pistol will be a challenge for you to accept. Accept the challenge and then follow this path and you'll find a secret passage that you can open. Once you get through, you'll find the blueprints right here. Now, if you guys want to know how you can get the Cyberhands 2177 from Cyberpunk 2077, click this video right here on the left. If you guys want to check out other weapon blueprints, click on the playlist to my right. It's very short and you can get through it in pretty much a day. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you think of this blueprint. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.